Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? It's your boy DM3 back with another video today. Topic of today's video is do you trust the process? Do you respect the process? Let's talk about it right now. You know I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask somebody about me. Oh. Since 2017, when Sean McDermott got here, all we heard was trust the process, respect the process. What is the process? Do we know? Hey, do you know what the process is? How about you? Anyone? Process? No? Yeah? All right. So process became a buzzword, a big catchphrase. Sean McDermott has hung his hat on the word process. Every single interview that he gives, process, process, got to watch tape, process, process, got to watch tape. What is the process? Is the process drafting players? Is the process signing free agents? Is the process grooming your own? What exactly is the process? Now, the process comes with ups and downs. The process comes with its highs and its lows. And we've seen our good share of highs and lows over the past two seasons with Sean McDermott as head coach. But let's go back, let's go back. So 2017, the Bills end the drought. Process, thumbs up. He uses Tyrod Taylor, Nate Peterman, and we make the playoffs. Nine wins on a team that doesn't have high-profile players other than maybe LaShawn McCoy, a couple offensive linemen, decent secondary, but we make the playoffs. Nine and seven, drought's over. Man, the process Kool-Aid tasted so good. Everybody was drinking the process. And then we take a step back. We go back last season, 2018, we finish 6-10. and 10. But as Brandon Bean said many times this past offseason, we don't want to be 6-10, and 10, but we knew it was going to happen. Also known as part of the process. Now, the process, as I alluded to earlier, had some peaks and it had some valleys. So... 9 and 7, positive for the process. 6 and 10, maybe not a positive for the process, but the Bills cleared up some cap space. So if you're looking at the pros and cons of the process, definitely a lot of the pros are we made the playoffs on a roster that didn't need to be in the playoffs. Didn't There's no way that team should make the playoffs. That team was filled with role players. It had a bunch of guys that were you know, off of other teams that came and signed with the Bills as a second chance. So... Sean McDermott plus process nine and seven thumbs up. We also saw Sean McDermott do a few things in games that we questioned. So we questioned the process. Fourth and one, we're punting. Third and nine, we're running draw plays. So a lot of that part of the process, Sean McDermott, rookie head coaching season, we kind of gave him a pass on. So the process also has other things involved, right? We traded away. Marquee players such as Sammy Watkins, Ronald Darby, we got draft picks, we got guys who are no longer on the team that we you know, added in those trades, all while accumulating the draft capital to move up in the draft so that we can get our franchise quarterback. What did we do last season, in the offseason? We moved from the 21 spot to the 12 spot, down all the way to the 7 spot so we can draft Josh Allen. So, process, thumbs up. But then the 2018 season comes, and Josh Allen is not our starting quarterback day one. Josh Allen should have been the starting quarterback from the minute he held up his jersey on stage with Commissioner Roger Goodell. He should have got a phone call and said, when are you going to get here so we can go over the playbook? So, thumbs down for the process. But, Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean both have come out publicly and said, we made a mistake with the quarterback position. That's part of the process. It's a learning curve. We need to learn. We need to get better. They got better. So another thumbs up for the process is the offseason haul that Brandon Bean brought in in free agency. He brought in offensive line help. He brought in wide receiver help. He brought in help at the cornerback position. All this stuff so that the Bills can get better. So definitely trending upward for the process. One more process step back that I think not a lot of people are talking about is the fact that Brandon Bean came out and publicly talked about Ziggy Ansah and said that there's no way the Seattle Seahawks are going to sign Ziggy Ansah. Next day, 
Seattle Seahawks signed Ziggy Ansah. So, learning curve. These guys are both new in their position. They're both first-time head coach, first-time general manager, so I think we do need to cut them a little bit of slack, a little bit of slack because us as Bills fans are hungry. We're hungry to get back into competition. We're, we're trying to get back to where the New England Patriots are at, back the Bills of the 90s. So I'm interested to get your take on it. Drop your thoughts in the comments. I want to have a good conversation about the process. Do you trust the process? Do you still trust the process? Do you respect the process? Because the next term that I'm going to grab a hold of is playoff caliber. Because that's where trust the process takes it to another level. Are we competing every year? Are we in the playoffs every year? Are we competing for the AFC East every year? That's the main reason why I trust the process. If you guys trust the process, if you don't trust the process, if you have questions about what the process is, let's talk about it. Drop it in the comments. I will try to get to each and every one of you. If you're liking this on, or if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you give me that big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see when the next videos are coming from me, the Kingpin, from Rico, all that cool stuff. And if you're watching on Facebook, you know who I am. I'm the Facebook operator for the Buffalo Fanatics. Make sure you like this video, share it, drop some comments. I'm DN3. Do you trust the process? Hey, you trust the process? Yo, you trust the process? I'll see you guys on the next one. Buffalo Fanatics has partnered with YouTube to offer viewers the ability to become sponsored members. Here are all the perks and exclusives included in your member package. Receive a Buffalo Fanatics loyalty badge and get priority when hosts are responding to comments and answering questions inside every live video chat. Access to a member-only community where you'll be able to communicate with our content creators and have more of a say in the content produced. Qualify to stream with our Buffalo Fanatics gaming streamers live on our YouTube and Twitch channels for the world to watch. Never pay shipping fees when shopping inside the Buffalo Fanatics fan shop automatically entered into a drawing to win a pair of tickets to the 2019 Buffalo Bills home opener, where you'll hang out and sit with the entire Buffalo Fanatics team. Drawing will be held live on YouTube in August 2019. We rep the people, we rep Buffalo Fanatics.